Hi, soul fam. This is Renee Asiri with InsideJobHealing.com coming to you with this week's forecast. We have a reprieve from the intense energies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, universe. So this is a time to be carefree and playful because guess what? Tomorrow is the end of Mercury retrograde. Ah, so we can all breathe a sigh of relief. I already feel the energy shifting. Um, we've had an intense couple of weeks with the eclipse season. And so now we're gonna have a retrieve from a reprieve from that because the next eclipses are coming on, you know, in a, a few months. And the good news is is that we have a full moon in Capricorn on June 24th, which is this Thursday. So normally Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, which is the sign of discipline, responsibility. It's a hardworking sign, it's a limitation sign. We've been dealing with the effects of Saturn all of 2020. Um, and just really feeling, you know, all those restrictions of, about our freedom and our lockdowns and things like that. Well, the good news is this full moon <laughs> is coming to us as a reprieve and it's a breath of fresh air. It's a kind of a timeout from all of these intense energies. So this is a really great time for you to take a trip. I am, Luna and I are gonna be visiting Jake in DC. So to all my DC peeps, hit me up if you're interested in meeting up. So I'm gonna, you know, so it's a great opportunity this week to um, really kind of take it easy, slow down, take an inventory of all the hard work, all the pivoting that you've done, all of the changes that you've done since January. So traditionally, January was really hard. Um, June was really hard with the eclipse and everything. And then November and December are gonna be really challenging as well. So this week is definitely a time to celebrate, to celebrate all of your accomplishments, all your hard work, everything that you've done, um, and to see what is working, to let go of what's not working and pivot. Um, it's also a time to be very playful. So this whole time with Mercury Retrograde, I hope that you took the opportunity to do some shadow work, to visit your patterns, to really clean up your energetic vibration, to let go of toxic relationship environments, people and work. Um, and situations and then now I hope that you've had a chance to really face your fears and work through them because once you face your fears you are able to elevate your vibration be more in the vibration of joy and love um, and not approach the world from this defensive stance of like I need to protect my heart and this is a message for the collectives the single collectives um, for those of you that are out there looking for looking for love I want you to really kind of re-examine your approach I want you to examine whether or not you've been true to yourself, if you've been in alignment, if you've been speaking your truth. Um, a lot of people, unfortunately, have been hurt, and so what they do is they shut down their heart, they close their heart, and then so they end up, you know, basically kind of um, interacting with people in a way that they're afraid to get hurt. So if you're afraid to get hurt, or if you're afraid of the unknown, um, if you want your dating life to improve, then I really highly recommend that you you know, you feel the uncomfortable feelings and be with the discomfort of the fear of getting hurt again, of the fear of the unknown, of the fear of starting over, right? Because a lot of us tend to not leave relationships, even those of you that are in relationship, because it's just the task of finding someone who is so daunting, especially in today's dating world where we have the internet and Tinder and Bumble and all that. There's a lot of catfish out there. There's a lot of distress. And so that's another thing the collective is working with right now is trust. So it's time for us to really trust the universe. It's time for us to be present with what is because everything you need is right here, right now, right? So even if you're single and your dream is to be with your true love, then you need to be your true love. You need to love yourself first. You need to um, transcend any feelings of loneliness because if you're coming at the dating scene, feeling uh, lonely, then that's what you're gonna attract. You're gonna attract other people who are coming from a place of loneliness and lack and scarcity. So I just highly recommend that you take a straightforward look in the mirror to face yourself and to really align with your higher self. Um, and like I said, you know, if, if hookups is what you're into, uh, if you've been hurt and you're not emotionally available, then go for it. But if you're really looking for somebody to have a serious relationship with, you playing along with people that are hurt and are emotionally unavailable with their heart closed, isn't gonna get you that, you know, that true deep relationship that you're seeking. So again, I invite you to work through not being afraid um, of getting hurt again, not being afraid to speak your truth, not being afraid to show up as your true self because we all deserve to be loved for our true self.
All right, guys, so that's for the singles. I just wanted to mention that that's what we're going through. But seriously, I would definitely play this week. I would definitely slow down. Even though Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, the hardworking sign, it's not a time to amp up your work stuff. We've been working our butt off <laughs> um, for the last few weeks and months to try to kind of usher in this new paradigm. And so it's a time to take stock and to celebrate all the things that you've done. It's not a time to work harder. It's actually a time to celebrate summer, especially summer starting today, which is June 21st. Um, and really kind of taking a trip, having fun, playing with your friends, especially in your family, especially with um, a lot of states letting go of restrictions. I know in New Mexico, we're completely removing any COVID restrictions July 1st. And so things are open, people are not wearing masks, you know, they're having like a great summer. And so I highly recommend you to take this week to slow down, to stop working so hard, to sleep in and skip some workouts if you want to, um, and take that trip that you've always been wanting to take. So. Um, that is my forecast for this week because next week it's going to be rough again because you have that Mars T-squaring um, Saturn and Uranus which happened early on in the year at the beginning of the year um, and so that's a definitely challenging aspect because again you know Uranus wants us to change and so I had mentioned to you in last week's video do not make any abrupt changes out of frustration um, as you know uh, especially the end of June and the beginning of July so just take that time to really reflect and don't make any sudden moves um, because you're gonna regret them if they're not right for you because Saturn is all about, you know, long-term change that is well thought of and creates a great foundation. So don't start anything new. If you've already been working towards this goal since last year or this year, then that's fine. Keep working towards it, but don't make any sudden moves um, right now or, or brash decisions because you're frustrated. So last week there was definitely that, you know, feeling of frustration. This week is definitely a feeling of carefree and, you know, lightheartedness and joy and play so I encourage you to do that because a lot of us don't play we've been socialized and domesticated to just really work hard to always be working for the future and saving for the future and not living in the present so I highly recommend that you live in the present moment um, take stock of what you have celebrate what you have be grateful for the people and jobs and clients and family members and animals that are in your life um, and just really enjoy the beautiful energy of this week because next week's gonna hit us hard again. Um, and so, uh, yep, so just remember that the 24th is that full moon and full moons are all about sowing what you reap and coming to culmination. So see what miracles, see what manifestations come to you. So take some time on Thursday to play, go to the pool, go take a day trip. Go, go to the spa, right? Go get a massage or whatever it is, but just really, really celebrate life and just remember that, you know, we have been through a very challenging year, but hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have put ourselves in alignment in a good place to make our dreams happen. So 2022, we can really take advantage of that Jupiter and Pisces energy and really expand and grow spiritually and emotionally. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say for this week is that it's a really good week to, um, you know, enjoy life. So that's it for me, guys. Renee is here with InsideJobHealing.com. I love you lots. Hit me up. Let me know how you're feeling.